Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about Senator Cruz and a story I heard a while back and some secretaries of defense. See, Senator Cruz has his little political theater planned. He's going to object to the electoral count and all of that stuff. And he's received some uh, pretty heavy criticism because of his little plan. He said that people needed to calm down, needed to tone down their rhetoric because it's a tinderbox and they're throwing matches in it. Can you believe that some Democrats had the nerve to say that he was committing treason? Got to be honest, I felt bad for a minute because of my video. <laughs> then I remembered a story I was told. I wasn't there for this, but uh, I have no reason to believe it's not true. Guy's a Marine, he gets out, moves back home, and he is the definition of a good old boy. Takes a job as a deputy. One of his first calls is a shots fired call. So he drives out to the middle of nowhere to this house, and when he gets there, he sees this guy standing out in front of the house looking at the tree line, and he is holding a hand cannon. He's got nothing on. The uh, great investigative skills that you pick up at the academy. His theory was that somebody attempted to get into the house. The homeowner woke up in the middle of the night, came out waving that 357 around, scared him off. They're in the tree line. Sounds good. He gets out of the car, starts walking up to the guy from behind. As he gets close, he's like, everything all right? And the guy turns around. He's like, can you see him? Can you see him? See who? The aliens. Yes, I can. As a matter of fact, that's why I'm here. I'm here to back you up. He pulls his weapon out. And he keeps it pointed at the tree line. And he asks guys, like, you know, there anybody here with you? No. Well, you know, I, I get what you're talking about, but... They, these, these pistols are not going to do anything. We need to get back to the station, get something a little bit more high-powered. Why don't you come with me? I don't know how to use anything else. We'll get you trained, get you some gear. We're, we're probably going to have to be dealing with this for a while. Okay. And they ease back to the car, keeping their eyes and weapons trained on the tree line. Gets to the car, and he's like, hey, you know, I got stuff in the front seat here. Just hop in the back. Oh, you can't have that back there. Here, give me that. Sit him down in there. Close the door. This was late 90s, early 2000s. You know, we hear a story like that today. And we're, we'd be like, great, fantastic. That is amazing de-escalation. Good for him. We need this cop to train other cops. And on some level, yeah, that's true. But from a psychologist standpoint, that's the way wrong move. So, the deputy drives him to the hospital. When he gets to the hospital, the guy begins to understand what's happening and flies into a fit of rage. Hurts one of the docs, hurts one of the nurses. Winds up having to be restrained. When it's all said and done, this four-foot-nothing psychologist comes up and starts poking this mountain of a man in the chest telling him that if he ever plays into the delusions of somebody again and then brings them to her hospital, well, there is going to be the devil to pay. Because it's a bad idea to play into people's delusions, Senator Cruz. It's a bad idea to play into false beliefs because eventually they're going to figure it out. You have no idea what's going to happen. It may also create a situation that is such a tinderbox that 10 former secretaries of defense feel compelled to release an open letter because they're worried about the transition, a worry we have not had in this country since the 1800s. It's not a good idea to play into the delusions of the man with the gun, the person who can set everything off. I am sure to you this is just political theater. It's fan service for your base. Doesn't mean anything. 
get that. And no, it's not treason. Treason in the United States is incredibly specific. In most countries, I think this would probably qualify, but not here. But while it is not treason, I would uh, point out that it is certainly not in the best interest of the country. It is certainly not in the best interest of those people you are supposed to represent. Yes, rhetoric does need to change, sir. Yours. These little games, they have gone on long enough. You are undermining the foundational elements of this country for nothing, for headlines, for retweets. I am sorry that people said mean things to you, but uh, I would suggest that maybe you stop playing into the delusions of people. Anyway, it's just a thought. I have a good night.